Good afternoon, it's Wilfredo Aguilar. Um, it is now uh, June 28th. No, not June 28th, May 28th. Uh, we're going into June. Um, two more days uh, before, uh, actually three more. Uh, so Monday will be the first. Uh, big days coming up ahead, um, May 31. Um, our governors, um, our governor from California doesn't want church to open yet. Uh, church wants to open. Um, we're praying that um, that doesn't escalate into a big fight uh, between church and the governor of California. Uh, the governor of California is already in a, in a very unpopular. Um, it's very unpopular with. Um, with the people of California, uh, it's not well liked, so this is not gonna be good. So we're praying for him and praying for the churches, for the pastors that are gonna open up on May 31. Um, the enemy is trying to uh, cause problems already with the pandemic uh, that we have upon us, and um, and uh, it's, it's doing more chaos stuff. Uh, and it's part of him but uh one thing we must do in the midst of darkness is turn on the light we must turn on the light and let the light of jesus shine and the darkness will be misspelled it will be spell not misspelled but spell it will be spell and it will be taken off once the light switch goes on and this is what i'm trying to do with these videos uh, i had a big fight today um I started recording like always, but um, it's California Lancaster and it's hot. My phone got overheated. I have to borrow um, a car with air conditioner and then I tried to record and I couldn't. There's like a white noise in the um, in the car with the air conditioner on and me trying to record it. So I'm like, oh, what? The? I'm just gonna try something new and. Uh, for this video so this is why we're seeing some of you i'm actually driving around uh, and even with the thought of the day it's a nice sunny day and uh, so here's the thing the thought of the day the word of the day for today and we're talking about john the baptist john the baptist uh john the baptist is the last prophet of the law of moses the law of god that was given to israel uh, he's the last prophet and now a new reign starts and that's the reign of the Son of God, of Jesus, of Yahweh, Jehovah himself coming into uh, to the world uh, in, in the flesh. So we see something big happening. John knew about it. He, he was told by the word of God and John knew um, and he he gave testimony of it. That was his purpose to give testimony that what were they about to experience was something big. And um, it wasn't John the big, it was John the big, the big one that was coming. It wasn't John the, the Messiah, but it was Jesus. So he pointed the way. Uh, and we're going to see the last prophet of the law. Uh, and um, uh, he says something very interesting. He says something very interesting that um, that he said um, it is important, it is necessary uh, that I, that Jesus, meaning the grace, the truth, the life, increase, and me diminish, decrease, be gone. And John, talking about himself, well, John is the representation of the law, so it was important for for um, for Jesus to increase, and it was important. For, it was important for John to increase, but that did not happen. Uh, John was still baptizing people uh, that were coming up to him, and uh, he he got into trouble. Uh, he was uh, telling Herod, the king uh, of that uh, region, that uh, it was not lawful for him to take his wife, and um, uh, because his wife was his brother's wife. 
so it was just adultery plus um, so he, that was not not something that approved so John was like a prophet he told him that was a no-no uh, Herod like John but his wife kept kept on um, uh, making problems for for um, for John because you know he's like she was like uh, uh, you know she was very mad at John so because of those accusations of because, not accusations but because John was telling them uh, the truth so um, so uh, the wife uh, the daughter's wife uh, are, uh, does a dance a special dance for King Herod and Keith he King Herod was very pleased he had a lot of guests with him and um, and uh, after she danced, uh, he was pleased, and he was he offered her a, up to his half of his kingdom or whatever he was reigning on, and and then ask he said to her, and the daughter was went to her mom, uh, to her mother, and said, "What should I ask for?" And and the mother saw the opportunity that came to her and said, "Hey, ask for the the head of John the Baptist." So. Herod gave the daughter the, the head of the John the Baptist and John dies but uh, before John dies when he was in jail uh, doubt visited John and he starts doubting all everything he said about Jesus and so much that he actually sent disciples he sent disciples and tell him hey is it you are we is it you the one that was gonna come or should we wait for another and that was a big um, that was a no-no. Uh, that was a no-no. But um, John was in despair. Uh, he was doubting. He was doubting Jesus, and um, it was a problematic. But before that happened, even before that happened, um, John was baptizing. So Jesus comes to him, gets baptized by Jesus. When he gets baptized by John, Jesus gets baptized by John. The old heavens open up. John gets baptized, and um, and then. Uh, uh, once he gets baptized by 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 John, uh, uh, John the Baptist uh, keeps on baptizing. He keeps on baptizing, and then now uh, certain discussion came about um, with the with the Jewish people, uh, what Jewish people and uh, the disciples of John. They were telling him, "Hey, you know." The, the person that you you baptize that you you talked about um, he's baptizing too he's baptizing too and more crowds are coming to him what do you make of that so John the Baptist uh, talks about it and it talks about Jesus and says nothing is that is is given to him comes from from man everything that he is given is from above and then he tells them hey He's he's the uh, the bridegroom. He's the groom, and I'm the bride's friend, bridegroom's friend. So he tells him, "Hey, it is important that he goes, he increases, and that I diminish." And um, and um, we are pretty much uh, read that in the big in the message uh, of that passage where where John talks about Jesus. Uh, because of that discussion that came about, about um, that he was baptizing against, um, and also John was, was baptizing. So now you got two important people baptizing. What should have happened was that John, the, after John the Bap baptized Jesus, he should have followed Jesus. He should have become a disciple of Jesus, but instead he kept on baptizing. I mean, I guess that's what he knew. He thought he, he was supposed to do that and keep on doing that and, and instead of, you know, following Jesus and uh, and uh, be under Jesus. But instead he was like competing with Jesus. And um, But what gets me most is that even, the, even somebody who's living the law as John, like John did, who even keeping the law, who's, who's, uh, who's, who's a great man like John was, uh, he experienced doubt so there's gonna be doubt in your life uh, doubt is gonna come on one point or another and it's gonna make you question 
whether you know it's gonna make you question Jesus it's not gonna make you um, question the law uh, the law will always put doubt about Jesus so if you want to if you want to um, uh, live by the by the law you will have problems you will have trouble you will have doubt and you will experience doubt and if it makes you doubt of Jesus then you got nothing you got nothing going on for you because the law in itself doesn't doesn't do anything uh, it just punishes it's a reward system a punish system and it, it, it was meant to give you justice um, but for people that are born of flesh it's really tough uh, the flesh likes to sin the flesh it drinks sin like a like water so it's not easy um, John experienced that and he was doubting Jesus he was doubting that Jesus was the Messiah after all he said about Jesus and testify I mean remember Jesus was his cousin so he should know better but still he ends up doubting and uh, so imagine what kind of life would you have if you try to keep the law uh, it will make you doubt it will make you doubt Jesus it will make you doubt Jesus plus listen to what John said it is important that that the law diminish and that Jesus increase it is important that Jesus increases that Jesus becomes great and the law doesn't Either one of them is going to become great, they're greater than the other one. So make sure it's Jesus. Make sure it's Jesus. So don't go for the law of God. That one is going to get you into trouble. Make sure you know you are um, in Jesus. Um, follow Jesus. Follow Jesus because he is great. Um, well, this is my test run for the... Um, for this video, I'm gonna make it short. I'm trying out a different, some adding something to it, but uh, the message is the same. Uh, make sure the law diminishes and Jesus increases in your life. So that's it. That's it for today. Uh, you, I'm putting the verses that uh, that I base my thought for today on the descriptions or on the website on the video blog. So. Uh, look look it up thank you for watching this video for enjoying this video um, share it uh, like it if you're on Facebook share it like it uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel subscribe and like our fan page so we can um, keep uh, keep on doing this uh, and that's it for today uh, thank you have a very very blessed day God bless bye